Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Can a person under the age of 40 use a walking stick or cane for the intention of following the sunnah? Of course, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Definitely you can. Uh, especially um, with Shaykh Mawlana, uh, Shaykh Afandi. This is the days of Ahir Zaman with the knowledge that is given to them and permission and authority that they have. They say you may even do this, this and this and this to bring up, to revive these lost traditions. Because they are Sunnah, now we may, the conditions also, it may not apply 100%, we may say do it. I know traditionally, people always say you're supposed to carry the Sunnah when you're 40 years old. But the Sultan al and the Sahib al-Saif, you can say, okay, now for instance, one hour of meditation, it is better than 100 years of worship, but people cannot make one hour of meditation. Now, now the principle is not about the time, how much, one hour. On. The principle now is a person to meditate, to think. And now we're living in a world where we may say, Sahibul Sahib do not even see. <laughs> where, um, he, of course he knows, but we have a world where this, this is the whole life, this is the whole time. You can spend one whole day doing rubbish, nonsense things with this. And everything else is pulling, 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 pulling. With this, it used to be just to call, now this is worse than the television. Shreve Fendi used to give sohbets about television, sewer, he's saying, right? Coming into the house. Now, you don't have to be in the house. Anywhere that you are, it is there. You just open it and it's designed, it's designed to hook you in that your ego likes. It listens to everything. What you say, what you want, it's just showing, showing, showing. Dunya. So, now they say, don't take one hour. Just take a few minutes. Sit and meditate. Then it's okay. So carrying the cane is a sunnah of all prophets, as wearing the turban is. All prophets wore the turban. And the cane is a sunnah from Hazrat Adam salam, that he brought from paradise. That it was given through the hands of Hazrat Jibrail salam, that says, use this stick and protect yourself. When he was sent, Hazrat Adam, in the time of the Hajjud, very completely dark, pitch black, and shaitan had made fitna throughout the whole world saying, Allah is going to send a creature that is going to destroy you. They're hating, going to destroy you, inciting, making everyone to hate Hazrat Adam, and they came to see him to come down and to destroy him. And Jibreel a.s. gave him the cane. And he's saying, cane from paradise. And saying you can use this cane to protect yourself against the shaitans and against those ones who are harming you. And all the animals were going rushing to attack him. One animal that was rushing to attack him was the dog and the order was given to Hazrat Adam, touch the dog. He touched the dog and the dog suddenly, instead of growling, it became very friendly to him. The dog turned around and started protecting him. From that time, of course the dog is related to us in a physical form. So, all the prophets, they were carrying canes, and these days, the uh, order is saying, those who have the authority to carry it, those who can carry it, carry it. Those who cannot carry it, don't carry it. That is showing the authority also in a place. And um, if you cannot carry that, then there are other things that you can carry. More millions of sunnats that you can carry. Don't get stuck with that too. Because with these kinds of physical sunnats also, you can trick the ego very quickly, very easily. Sunnat of wearing a turban is good to wear the turban. But you only wear the turban, you like to wear the turban when people praise you, huh? But you don't like to wear the turban when people look at you like this. 
Then wear the turban when people look at you like that. Then that is good. You're stepping in your ego. Don't just wear a turban when people say, oh, you look like a king, you look like a prince. Wearing a jubba. You're not finished from so many wrong things that you're doing and you just wear the jubba once a week for show. Especially when you're not stepping on your ego, then you're not necessary for you to do that too much. At the same time, I'm not going to tell anyone to not do any sunnah. You understand? And, but if you're smart enough, you will get permission to carry certain things because it's not so easy. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al fatiha. Wa min. Assalamu alaikum.